Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Hate here. I'm back with you again today and my lavender and speckles order arrived. I'm so excited. It wasn't supposed to be here until Friday. So the box from here smells amazing. Like amazing. <laughs> Just gonna set this on my chair. I need to kind of get ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. <laughs> In the U.S., it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, but, I mean, I can't focus without checking out this order. It's my very first ever Lavender and Speckles order. I've only ever gotten to try um, Beth Swax twice. Um, once was Charity had gifted me one. I think it was called Lemon Sugar Cake, if I remember right. And the other one was... Um, have it upstairs. <sighs> so I'm looking at my invoice. Okay. Um, she put in an extra back because I really, really um, she had asked, um, what was something I wanted to see, and I had mentioned my three favorite scent notes ever are Marshmallow Fireside, Warm Vanilla Sugar, the Bath and Body Works type, and, um, Palo Santo, my fav my three favorite scent notes, and I couldn't imagine how wonderful it would be if they were all put together, and I missed it. <laughs> I got mixed up on the time and you guys are fast um, and I missed ordering it and I was like, oh, I'm bummed hoping she'd bring it back at the next like pre-order and uh, she included a bag. Is she not the sweetest person ever? Oh my goodness, Beth, you didn't have to do that. Um, but it looks like instead of five small bags, I got two large bags and a regular bag of Christmas trees and cookies. So that was a substitution, same thing. It was just different size. Um, and she put this like Christmas card thing. This is really cute. Um, and it says, Merry Christmas from Lavender and Speckles Scents. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9.6. And one of my favorite things to decorate with um, in decor at Christmas time is the, is the nativity. Um, I just love that stuff. Okay. Oh, and she put some bags in there. Wow, that's so nice. Um, here's her business card. Lavender and speckles. And I will try. I sometimes forget and get excited uploading. I will try to put the information. Um <laughs> in the description box but in case i forget here is the information beth wilson is the owners and again here's the website just in case i forget to upload it <laughs> i'm gonna try with her um ooh, and she has like a sample in here thank you beth i love samples <laughs> i love to try things i've never tried before this is desert is i'm sorry dessert dessert sushi like how fun is that exciting. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Not exactly sure what I'm smelling, but it smells kind of marshmallowy, sweet. Oh, really good. <laughs> really sweet and yummy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Whatever the scent notes are. That's so cool. I can't wait to melt that. Thank you. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, you guys. All right. I'm so excited it came early. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Um, Let's try to see the ones that I did one of. This one was one that I wasn't planning on ordering, but because um, stuff, like three of them that I wanted. You guys wiped them out first. I was like, holy cow. 
Um, I think one was like the Christmas trees and strawberry. Um, I think. I know my warm vanilla sugar, um, marshmallow fireside and Paulo. I'm trying to think what the other one was. I have it written down in my notebook. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. So, uh, let's see. This one I know. So I was trying a few things <laughs> extra cause I'm like, well, I have this budget, so I want to order more of the things that I was only going to get like two of. Um, I got more. And um, <clears throat> I, I got some extra things. So, and I can smell these, you guys, through the bag. They smell so good. Okay. One of them was that I got one of to try was Ugly Christmas Sweater. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. And they have different scripture verses on them. I kind of love that. This one's thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. 2 Corinthians 9, 15. And this is eucalyptus and sweater, sweater, wetter. <laughs> I just got off work. Sweater, no. <laughs> sweater, weather, and eucalyptus. The Bath and Body Works type. Sweater, weather. Say that 10 times fast. Oh, I love this. See, I like eucalyptus, but I was like, oh, I don't know if I like sweater weather. <laughs> I'm not real familiar with it. This is really pretty. I'm glad I got this. Oh my gosh. And it's very like refreshing. Yet cozy, if that even makes sense. Don't ask me what's in sweater weather. <laughs> don't know why I can't see that. That is so cute. I'm glad I tried ugly Christmas sweater. Um, let's see. Oh, this is so exciting. I think this one I only have. Oh, okay. Um, wait, this one I have two. Okay. Um, snickerdoodle. I only got one of. Look how cute. So that's snickerdoodle. My nails from. I was cleaning earlier. Um, on my lunch break. Um, this is Snickerdoodle. And this is warm cookie dough, melted butter, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and nutmeg. Um, this is the same scripture verse as on the other one. Oh, that's really good. I wish I'd have gotten two. So it smells like a cookie to me. Wait, really quick. Let me just tell you. Um, I love that her wax is clear. Why? Because um, when you put the colored waxes in, not so much there, but like over here, um, certain warmers, it casts a color on the wall. I don't always love that. Whereas this, when it melts, comes out clear, and I just love that so much. So I appreciate how classy this is. Um, you can cut these in half, so I'll get three melts out of this. Um, depending on the room, I might get two and a half, because um, if I did all four, um, I usually do four per room. Um... So this is the warm cookie dough, melted butter, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and nutmeg. It's very good. Um, yeah, it just smells like cookie and warmth and it's not spicy. It's just bakery yummy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, Like the butter and the cook, kind of like um, like sugar cookie dough. I'm sure like um, more of the cinnamon and the nutmeg will come out on warm. But it, it's it's a lot like a sugar cookie dough. I think is how I would describe that one. So that's really good. Mm, bet you that would be great mixed with a tree too. Okay. Um, 
This one I got two of. Um, okay, so I got multiple of that one. I know I got a lot of that one. Um, oh, and I know I got a lot of that one. <laughs> okay, so this one I got one of. This is Santa's zucchini bread. Uh, look how cute the Santa hat. <laughs> um, this is, did you know Santa prefers zucchini bread? Chocolate chip cookies blended with sweet vanilla and zucchini bread. And the scripture on this one is John 1 14 and the word becomes flesh and dwelt among us, meaning Jesus, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And he beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. Love well, that these are all kind of Christmas themed scriptures too. <laughs> so far. Zucchini bread, chocolate chip cookies. Um, again, it smells like bakery, a different bakery. I think it's the chocolate chip cookies that I'm smelling, but I'm not familiar with that oil, so it's different to me. But it smells like bakery. It smells, it smells good. <laughs> I'm not upset about that. Um, okay. So that's that one. I know I'm going to love these. I know I'm going to love these. Um, and I'm sure I got a couple of those. Yep. <laughs> I just kind of want to keep together so I don't talk about them multiple times. Um, and then you can see... How many of I got of certain ones? Oh, I forgot to cover her. Uh, I think this one. Oh, I don't know. Um. Okay, that's the one that's bigger. Okay. Because it looks bigger. <laughs> uh, I'm just, you did not have to do that. Oh, the warm vanilla sugar, or warm sugar marshmallow fireside. Warm vanilla sugar, Paula Santa marshmallow fireside, my three favorite things. Beth, you are so sweet. <laughs> um, and the scripture is Isaiah 9, 6 through 7. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Oh, I think I read this one. Yes, I did. <laughs> Um, oh no, no, I didn't. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Sorry. Oh, I knew that was going to be amazing. I knew. Oh my word. That's magical. That's so good. Slightly perfumey, but cozy. Oh, you guys. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. I'm totally going to cherish this. I love that so much. Beth, you're so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Pretty please make more of um, maybe January, February, whenever you do another one. Pretty please make more um, vanilla sugar marshmallow fireside because I need lots of big bags. <laughs> uh, um, that's that's insanely magical. Like I just uh, words escape me. That's so good. Um, this one I think I got one of. I think. <laughs> Oh, this one, uh, you guys, one sec. This, oh no, I did get two. Um, this one, I think I got one. I don't know. <laughs> Hang in there. This one, I definitely think I got one of. 
Um, oh, I know I got several of this one. Pretty sure that's going to be amazing. Thank you guys, this is so much fun. I kind of love these little bags. Um, Salted pretzel, marshmallow fireside, I milkshake. No. <laughs> Salted pretzel, fireside milkshake. I got one of, because I'm not sure I love pretzel, but when I didn't get the other ones, I was like, I need to try one of these, because I'm kind of loving the idea of milkshake and fireside. I love some of the scent notes in here. It says, oh yum, salted pretzels. Vanilla ice cream, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. Like right there, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside. I'm like, I have to try this. <laughs> um, it says, John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I love the trees on here. How cool. Okay. Salted pretzel, Fireside, milkshake. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love that. You get the pretzel, you get the marshmallow fireside. Oh, wow. Paulo. Yeah, Paulo. Oh man, it's a lot of Paulo marshmallow fireside and, and the pretzel. Oh, I really love that one. We should have got one. Okay. <laughs> That's a really good one. Um, there's two of that one. Okay. So I got two. I just want to go in order. Um, two of the snowflakes. Um, I got two of these, and this, I love the snowflakes on there, and this is described as sweet peppermint, rich vanilla buttercream, and a touch of spearmint. She had me at spearmint. Spearmint is one of my favorite things ever. I think it's the most peaceful, calming scent. Oh, I want to say all is calm is the other one I missed out on. Yeah. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> I was sad. Um, the scripture on this one is Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. See, when I read those, okay, so the church hasn't done it since COVID, but there's a church near us. Uh, I mean, I'm not particularly Baptist, but it's the Baptist church. And then you would go in and you would have this like real life experience. Like you were there the day Jesus, well, the night Jesus was born. So you go in and you sit down and you get your family card, like the family of, it's like the 13 tribes of 12 tribes, 10 tribes, 10 tribes of Israel. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, so like one year we were like the family of Dan and we, you know, and then, um, tells you about the tribe and then you follow the centurion he's dressed up like a centurion um you follow him all around he guides you along and you go through like the market like um well you're there when the angel tells mary that she's having the baby and elizabeth she's telling elizabeth and john the baptist um that she's pregnant with he jumps for joy <laughs> inside like um, so you're experiencing that you go, um, like to the stable, like we're, well at the end, but 
you go to like where the innkeeper is and he's you know telling you about how caesar is trying to tax everyone blah 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 how this um, woman is about to give birth to a baby and he's got to go get the stable ready because there's no place at the inn but you get like nuts and fruit like dried fruit there like raisins and nuts and then you go in through the marketplace and um, they're making silver coins it's just like you're in like um bethlehem in a marketplace it's so it's called bethlehem marketplace um it's so cool <laughs> And um, they have all kinds of like Jewish unleavened bread for you to try, um, candied orange peels, all kinds of little things that you can buy. Um, and then they have homemade dreidels where someone is sitting there making dreidels and then the kids can have them. It's like a piece of wood and they draw on it. Um, and like the little pieces of silver, they have nothing on them. They're just little round pieces of silver. Um, it's literally like this whole marketplace. Then you leave there. And you go to where the angel um, is talking and talking about like um, the shepherds um, shall come, the three the three wise men. I forget how it all goes, but because it's been a few years. And then you go, you, when you leave, there's a stable built outside and it has a couple real animals like a sheep, um, I think a goat. And you see a lady in there with like, a baby doll <laughs> um and mary and joseph are in there with like live animals and you each get a candle and they light the candle and then you sing like um silent night holy night like oh it's just so pretty and then some years they would give you like a free cd um it just it's the coolest experience it's like you're it's so when i read these scriptures it brings all of that back to me um, like the whole experience, it was my favorite thing to do. And then COVID, they stopped doing it and they haven't really done it since. So it's kind of sad. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, sweet peppermint, rich vanilla buttercream, and a touch of spearmint. So forgive me for reading the scriptures, but it's, that's Christmas to me. Um, that's why I like the whole nativity scene and everything. And so it just brings it all. Oh my gosh, I should have got a bunch of this one. Oh, I'm sad I only got two. Oh, if you love spearmint, that's beautiful. The peppermint, the spearmint, and the buttercream. I love that. Oh, that's so peaceful to me. I have like an essential oil diffuser necklace. And my favorite oils to buy for that because they just bring me such calm and such peace besides frankincense, um, which is not like a heavy incense like people talk about. The actual essential oil, um, like from doTERRA and Barefoot. My, but my two favorite oils to put in that necklace were spearmint and peppermint. Peppermint's great to like rub on you know behind your ears and on your temples if you have a headache on the back of your neck oh you guys it's gorgeous hey snowflakes i love <laughs> a lot wow okay um but it's gonna be crazy trying to melt through all these anyway i'm gonna have so much fun um Okay, so I did those. Now we're up to salty butterscotch. Okay, so I only got one salty butterscotch and it was limited. So I didn't want to go and get a whole bunch of it anyway. I wanted to save some for people. Um, so this is described, it's salty butterscotch bath and body works type. And it's like the same scripture. Look at that gingerbread house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I've never tried the bath and body works type. So I have no idea what to expect other than I was hoping for salty butterscotch. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it reminds me of like buttered rum lifesaver. Oh, I love that. Oh, I take it back. Not a buttered rum lifesaver, I'm Werther's. Wow, I should have got, mm, I should have got more. It's just like a Werther's candy. So when we went to Disney World, when my son was like seven, eight, um, he might have been, yeah, seven or eight. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. Um, 
we went to Germany and Epcot and we, we did the package where they gave you food and snacks along with um, your meals, like we did the whole meal, stay, all that inclusive package. And one of the snacks that we got was um, in um, Germany in Epcot and it was the Werther's. They were making Werther's stuff there. Just, it brings that back. <laughs> it reminds me of it. I love this so much. Oh, that's good. Dang, I should have got more. Um, and then peppermint trees with a twist. I got two of these in this one. Oh, you guys, he's so cute. Look. Oh, okay. And um, <laughs> let me make the packing stuff all over my black sweater. Um, this is described as new take on peppermint trees. This is sweet peppermint blended with balsam fir and a slight touch of strawberry pound cake. Now I got two of these because I missed the other strawberry. I was only going to get one. Um, and this is John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. All right. Um. Oh, that's pretty. I smell the tree, but it's like soft. It's not like in your face. Peppermint, slightly, yeah. Now to me, I know people who are maybe more sensitive to peppermint might think it's stronger. I don't. I think it's a beautiful blend of peppermint and tree. I get them fairly equal. Oh, and then what's the other? Oh, strawberry pound cake. I don't know. It smells good. <laughs> I don't know if I smell strawberry pound cake, but I like it. <laughs> mm, loving that. Okay. Guys, these <laughs> are so much fun. Okay. And then peppermint sugar cookies. I got two of those. Where are they? Mm. Oh, okay. In front of my face. Okay, I got two peppermint sugar cookies. <gasps> uh, see, I kind of wish I'd gotten more, lots of these. Okay, I got a lot. <laughs> um, this is the perfect Christmas cookie blend, sweet peppermint and warm sugar cookies. And I love peppermint and, sh and cookies. And I love peppermint, as you know. Oh, that's nice. I get like the cookie and then the peppermint. It's not intense peppermint. Oh, it's very well blended. That's so much fun, you guys. This makes me like want to decorate for Christmas. I've already been melting tree since because I'm like getting excited. Okay, and then we're on to the next page. <laughs> okay. And then I got two of, oh, peppermint eggnog espresso. All right. <laughs> oh, I think I smell the coffee already. <laughs> like, like, look at the little gingerbread in the mug. How cute is that? Okay. It says, oh, it doesn't have a description. Well, it's got to be peppermint, espresso, and eggnog. So <laughs> that's fine. more to say. Oh. Um, I love this. I get the peppermint. You guys, this is going to sound weird. I almost get something that smells a little like fresh dirt, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I've never smelled vendor eggnog. So I don't know if that's how the eggnog and the espresso is coming off to my brain. <laughs> but I'm here for it. <laughs> I mean, I get cough, I get espresso. 
Like my brain's picking up espresso, but I'm also getting like peppermint and like fresh dirt. And I think it smells amazing, as weird as that sounds. I really love fresh scents and it's got like a freshness to it. Oh, okay, I'm kind of loving that. I can't wait to melt that. I'm sorry if that sounded weird, but I actually really love that and wish I'd have gotten more because that's fun. Okay. And then peppermint. Because I got the other peppermint, um, the snowflakes and the other peppermint, I'm like, I know what fret, like crisp peppermint smells like. So I only got one. And this, look at the candy canes. Although I love it, I just wanted to get more of things I don't know. Um, so this is a bright, refreshing blend of pure peppermint with hints of crisp mint and sweet vanilla. Um, it says Isaiah 714. Oh no, I already read that one. Yeah, I remember. Um, oh, it's pretty. It's nose clearing peppermint, which I love. Like, I literally love that. But I get like, oh like a candy cane in there. I should have got more. <laughs> I'm like, I know what peppermint smells like. I love this. <laughs> Darn it all. All right. I just cleared out my sinuses and I freaking love it. <laughs> I, it's, oh, you guys, peppermint is so soothing to me. Like I love like Scentsy's Perfect Peppermint. Um, this is prettier. Um, this is, it's that same nose clearing peppermint, but with like the vanilla candy cane. It's creamy. It's like if you ate an entire jar of the butter mints. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like I inhaled a little wax there. Um, that's good. That's good. Um, peppermint. Love that. I really, it tickled me. <laughs> um, so I got four of these. Um, and I think I was originally only going to get two. Because <coughs> I wanted like a ton of the warm vanilla sugar one. I knew that was going to be amazing. I knew it. Um, so I went in on this one. I know that this one. Um... Okay, I think I remember. This one is Summer's, um, Summer Paquette. I think that's how you say her last name. And um, she's a wax friend. <laughs> um, and she wanted, um, it was like a, oh, a recommendation um, by Summer for this together. So I got four of these. Cause usually I love everything Summer loves. Like um, she loves Palo Santo Marshmallow Fireside like me. So like this has got to be good. So I got four. <laughs> this is a donut shop. And why I originally wasn't going to get it um, as many was because of the donut shop. I was like, meh. I don't get super, <laughs> I don't get super excited about like the, the donut. I don't know. I guess I'm not quite as bakery as I thought I was. Oh, did I show you? Santa, he's really cute. <laughs> um... So this is Donut Shop slash Paulo, which is Cinnamon Sugar Donuts and Paulo Santo. The Paulo Santo I'm all in for. It's the Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. I'm like, mm, it's meh to me. <laughs> um, and Roasted Pine Cones. So I am really excited because I'm like, Paulo Santo, like what's not to love? Okay. The pine cones. Okay, since these pine cones does not smell like this. Like they're cinnamon pine cones, I cannot do. I can't, it makes me nauseous. Um, it's almost like a dewy green in that. This um, roasted pine cones is beautiful. This is like a hint of a tree to me. So I'm getting like a soft, pretty tree, which I assume is the pine cones and I love. 
I do get like the cinnamon sugar donut that I'm, hmm. <laughs> I don't know why, that doesn't, it, there's one by Sassy Girl that I like, but normally I'm just like, mm, not so much on the cinnamon sugar donuts and I don't know why. I like to eat them. <laughs> I do love the um, Palo Santo and the pine cones. That's beautiful. Oh, the combination is beautiful. I think because I'm so in love with the Palo and the pine cones. And then you get like the bakery. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's really pretty. Okay, good job, Summer, because that was pretty. And I have four. So lots of blends of that. Um, where am I? That's Palo Santa. Oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> I got four of these. Um, the reason I got four of these was, was because... Um, Minus the cinnamon sugar donuts, this is just the roasted pine cones and the Palo. Yeah, I love Palo <laughs> so much. Okay. I see the difference. Okay. This is gonna sound weird. I'm just learning some of the vendor oils, so forgive me. But um, this smells like a powdered sugar donut, you know, like the white powdered sugar donuts, and I love that. I mean, but I get the tree, which is the pine cones, like a little bit of tree. But it comes off almost powdered sugar donut to me. I know people don't describe them like this. I apologize. It's where my brain goes. Whereas this, I'm, I can smell the cinnamon sugar donuts in with it. I don't like, I thought these were going to be pretty similar. They're actually quite different. Um, yeah, it's the cinnamon sugar that's changing. Um, very good. <laughs> I'm actually glad I have four of each of these because they're so different. Um, and I can't even tell you which one I like better. Um, because they're different enough, I, I'm not really sure, like, which I like, quote unquote, like better. I don't know. <laughs> they're just, they're... To me, they're like two completely different scents. Oh, I really like it. Mm. That's so pretty. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, so loving that. All right. Um, oh my gosh, these are so good. All right. Um, oh. Oh, no, I did. Okay. So I got five of these. This... Okay, so this is... <laughs> I love these scent notes. Okay, so I, I've been on the hunt <laughs> for gingerbread and eggnog because I love gingerbread and eggnog at Christmas um, to eat and drink. And so I'm kind of obsessed with those scent notes. So I got five gingerbread and eggnog because I couldn't go in for Teddy B's. I was like, I'm stocking up with lavender and speckles because <laughs> I love me some gingerbread and some eggnog. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Oh, I love this. It's gonna sound weird again. Um, the combination almost gives me a slight star anise kind of a note, like black licorice. And I love this. Oh, I love this. Oh, I had no idea that eggnog and pepper, or eggnog and gingerbread could come together like that. Wow. 
I love this. And it's a nice, strong gingerbread. Like I can specifically get gingerbread. Like if you make gingerbread cookies. And I think the egg dog is giving it like a creaminess, but it's also making it come off in my brain. <laughs> Sorry about my brain, I don't know. I don't hear other people describe this. But it comes off like um, starry anus to me. I freaking love this so much. Yeah, that was that was worth getting five bags. I will. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, loving that. <laughs> Hands down, love that. Mm. I guess I'm a huge gingerbread fan. Um. And then I got one Christmas wreath. Um, so there's the Christmas wreath. And this is, um, I don't think I've read this one. Second Corinthians 9.15. Um, Thanks be to God for his incredible gift, indescribable gift. Um, and this is described as sparkling citrus with nuances of fresh pine and warm spices on a soothing musky background. This is a winter citrus wreath bath and body work type. So. Oh, I should have got more of this one. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. I was expecting something like, um, Wasa Wonderland from Sensi, and I have several bars of it, and I was like, mm, I don't need a lot. This is different. You get the orange, and it's so good. You get some spices, and you get the pine. It's so refreshing. Wow. That's excellent. Wow. Now, why can't Sensi do an orange like this? Oh my word. Wow, I had no idea. That's phenomenal. That's good. And I'm, I'm a citrus fan and that's good. Wow, that's incredible. Shoot, I only got one of that one. Um, this one. Okay. So I, oh, okay. <laughs> Work brain. Okay, this is the one that got substituted for, instead of five small bags, I got two large and a small, which is like five, which is enough. <laughs> All right, and this is um, Christmas Trees and Cookies, and this was um, Charity had rec um, suggested. This is, and I usually like what Charity likes. Um, this is ro half and half. <laughs> um, this is roasted pine cones, rich vanilla buttercream, and freshly baked cookies ready to decorate. I was like, this has got to be good. <laughs> so. Pretty. You smell the cookies. And it does tone down the pine. I like it. Um, like, look how cute that shape is. Oh my gosh. It's pretty. Um, I think I'm really going to love that. Me personally, I wish I had a tiny bit more tree, but I'm not mad about a, more cookie. <laughs> What's not to love about, and this is chocolate chip too, right? No, sugar cookies and buttercream. I mean, what's not to love about your house smelling like cookies baking? I was just thinking in my head it was going to be more trees. Oh, 
Look, if that's not the perfect picture, like think of it like Christmas tree shaped cookies. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. And then I still have more. <laughs> um, Christmas Biggie Palo. I was only gonna get one of this because I was a little scared of the fig. Because I do not like Scentsy's Midnight Fig. But I was like, okay, so I decided to get two of these um, because I really do love the, the cinnamon, the palo, the vanilla, the plums. It's just this, the fig is a little scary. So that's Christmas Figgy Paula. What a cute name. <laughs> um, and this is described as juicy plums, juicy fig, fresh balsam, spiced cinnamon, vanilla, and palo santo. So... That's pretty, like a perfume scent. Oh, it's giving me some Teddy Bees vibes. Just saying. That's beautiful. It's like creamy, perfumey. Like dark. Okay. I think I have to melt this. Um, here it's beautiful. I'm still not sure how that... Um, fig might come out but it's a pretty perfume here almost kind of like a um Tom Ford lost cherry kind of a feel to it mm. it smells pretty in here still a little scared of the fig but it's pretty 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 perfume with some spice, um, like cinnamon. Um, it's pretty. Okay, and then Christmas cocoa, I got one. Um, just because, okay, I kind of know what this smells like too. So, um, this, oh no, no, yeah. Sweet peppermint, vanilla, dark chocolate, cinnamon sugar donuts. Again, cinnamon sugar donuts <laughs> scares me just a little. Look how cute. <laughs> um... Oh, I love this. I should have got more. Oh, and I almost did. Um, if you love Scentsy Marsh Marshmallow Mint Cocoa, I don't really get the cinnamon sugar donuts. Unless that's what's giving the the hot chocolate kind of a smell, dark chocolate, um, like a depth. And you get the peppermint soft. I don't know. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a really good one. Oh, man. You guys. <laughs> and then the last one I got one of. This was Ed Harrison's um, suggestion. Um, again, I was thinking Sensi's... Um, Lost in Wonderland. So I was like, I want to get one and try it. I don't know if I need a bunch because I have several bars of Lost in Wonderland. And this is um, Christmas Carol and it's described as orange cranberry spice blended with birchwood pine. I'm anxious to see. Oh, see, that's completely different. Wow. You guys know what you're doing with the mixing. Wow. Okay. It almost kind of gives me a slight um, Christmas Figgy Palo, like that perfumey. I guess the way that the cran orange cranberry and the spice are blending with the tree. What kind of birchwood pine? That's really pretty. Wow. Okay, that wasn't anything like I expected. Loving the spice in that one. Oh, it's so pretty. I would say it's a red hot cinnamon 
which I love Red Hot Cinnamon. <laughs> That's really pretty. <laughs> That's really pretty. Okay, well, hmm. I have some shocking favorites. <laughs> um, again. Ah, something. It's got to be that freaking marshmallow. <laughs> I decided that one that I love. Um, I Um, okay. Okay, so I've got that one nice. Mm. I can see how that might not be people's favorite because of the spice. Um, I don't know, you guys, that was good too. Too. Um, it's hard to pick. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty too. Um, I was only gonna do five. Um, no, I can't pick. <laughs> okay, it's gotta be my top six. Um, okay, so I really love the peppermint eggnog espresso. Um, it's like I said, it's got that like peppermint and like a fresh dirt and some coffee. <laughs> I don't know. I really love the freshness. That's really good. <laughs> so peppermint eggnog espresso. Mm. Um. Oh my god, these are so good. Um. Oh man, I just mm. <laughs> Snowflakes with the spearmint. Holy moly, that's good. <laughs> um, okay. I'm um I'm gonna pick that one, but Okay, um, then I think like the, uh, the, the, um, gingerbread eggnog, I love this. Yeah, that combination. Oh, it's 
giving me some black licorice um, and gingerbread and I'm loving it. <laughs> um, the salted pretzel fireside milkshake. That's really good. <laughs> I think it's that marshmallow fireside that I'm loving. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's so good. Um, and then Christmas wreath. I had no idea I was gonna love that. That's really good. Like knock your socks off good. Wow, <laughs> it just, I don't even know what to say. The, oh, the way that orange comes off, I had no idea. That's beautiful. Oh, I needed lots more of that one, had no idea. I'll be looking for that in the future. And then of course, the one that I missed out on, that Beth was sweet enough to include the vanilla sugar marshmallow fireside. It's warm vanilla sugar, palm santo, marshmallow fireside. It's my favorite thing. Oh my word, that's beautiful. Everything is good. Everything is really good. Like I don't dislike anything. The only slightly scary one is the fig in this one. And it's so pretty here. I think it's going to be good. I think the black plum is going to help me with the fig. It's it's really pretty with the balsam. And it's got Paolo. I love Paolo. Um, it's really pretty. I'm still, still a little scared of the fig. Um, because midnight fig from Scentsy. Mm -mm, had to take it off my warmer. Um, but this is pretty. This is like a like an upscale perfume fancy scent. <sighs> yeah. This these are beautiful, you guys. I cannot wait to start melting these. But I'll probably wait till after Thanksgiving. Um I don't know. I'm gonna try. Try to wait till after Thanksgiving. I may give in and do some gingerbread eggnog, some old Christmas tree, some peppermint. I don't know. I may give in. <laughs> but oh, you guys, these are beautiful. This is so much fun. And even this like dessert sushi, wow. It's so pretty. I don't even know how to put that into words. Reminding me of a candy when I was young. I want to say at Easter time. Wasn't there like a marshmallow inside? Um, but it had kind of like a hard outside, like a candy coating, like that's on M and M's. I want to say something like that is coming to mind. Dessert, yeah, dessert sushi. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Beth. I totally can't wait to melt these. These are gonna be so pretty and so refreshing. I mean, I'm pretty sure these peppermint spearmint ones are good to go, the eggnog. I don't think I have to wait. Oh man, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's just so beautiful. Um. Wow, you guys, these are so good. So, um, love these big bags. So I can't wait to order more. I hope that, oh man, it's been an hour. I just wanted to enjoy the moment because this is my first um, haul and I just wanted to live in the moment and I did and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, everything is beautiful. The, these shapes are adorable. Love, love all of these so much. I just, I can't. <laughs> and I loved how affordable, like what were these, like four fifty? Oh my, I just can't get over that one. 
Keepers, creepers. And I already knew that was going to be the most magical thing ever, and it was. <laughs> but this, this surprises me. I had no idea that could be so pretty. Okay. And the fireside with the pretzel. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'll just keep rambling and sniffing these, and I can't wait till Dale gets home and he can sniff them all. <laughs> So thanks so much, you guys. Thank you, Beth. You're the sweetest ever. And I'm so excited. Um, you're just the sweetest. Um, so I love everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, looking forward to the next order. And everyone have a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I obviously won't have anything going tomorrow. <laughs> um, so we'll see you. With, I think I have stuff coming Friday, Saturday. So stay tuned, enjoy your holiday, enjoy your time with your families, and definitely 100% um, go in on lavender and speckles. Um, I've, I've loved the two that I tried, like love them. I can't, for life me, I can't remember the name. It's like beach cookies something. It's really good. <laughs> really good. And then of course the lemon sugar cake, pretty sure that was the name of it. And these are all lovely, lovely. So thanks guys, see you soon.